Good morning all. Good morning. Happy Sunday morning. It's just about coming up to 7 a.m. on a Sunday morning. Ah, what's going on then? I'll tell you what's going on. Boeing Aircraft Company are in big trouble again. It's that blasted 737 Max again. Dash 9. 737 Dash Max Dash 9 or 9 Dash 9 Max. Is it? One of its emergency doors blew out. All grounded. <clears throat> how the hell did that happen? How, when, how can possibly that happen? And they were very lucky, very, very lucky. It only blew out at 15,000 feet, I believe. Yeah, 15,000 feet. So uh, there was enough oxygen in the air so that people weren't gasping and things like that. Fuck, you know. Can you imagine if, if it happened at 30,000 feet? A couple of passengers were... <laughs> Just appears through the hole. Bloody hell, man. Dangerous. Amazingly. Amazingly. Nobody. No victims. Amazingly. Luckily. And the, where the emergency door was, the first seat next to it, nobody was sitting there. Lucky, lucky, lucky. But the boy that was sitting in the middle seat, he had, he had his shirt <laughs> taken off him with the, you know, 15,000 feet. It's, uh, the pressurization is, well, it starts starts uh, quite low, but very lucky, very lucky. <sighs> Up towards 30,000 feet, and they're just taking their seatbelts off from landing, uh, from taking off. Oh, I don't know what's happened with Boeing. I know all these troubles they've been having for years uh, all stemmed when they merged with McDonnell Douglas and all sorts of shenanigans have been going on. They moved the management from Seattle to Chicago and McDonnell Douglas are in the southeast of USA somewhere. It's all gone to balls. Engineering and you know the politics involved when uh, it was century century seven maps. Maps just got grounded after those two crashes. Two of them. The bloody aircraft became uncontrollable and both aircraft, one in Ethiopia and one somewhere else, went straight into the ground. No survivors. Did anyone uh, end up in prison? Was it car corporate manslaughter charges? No. Politics and safety don't mix in the aircraft industry. Us in Britain know know all about that from the Comet, comet the uh, de Havilland Comet passenger aircraft disasters in the early 50, 50s. And you know what caused that? The Queen's um, uh, coronation was coming up. Well, hang on. Oh, was it? Yes. The Queen's coronation was coming up in 1953. And the Tory government were telling the aircraft company Come on, get it flying and all the rest of it. So before it was ready, before research and development and testing was fully completed, they got it flying in service. And what happened? They started falling up in the air and killing everyone. And one in Italy, I think, and one in uh, India. Oh, it was a disaster. And it destroyed... No two ways about it. It destroyed the British passenger, passenger aircraft industry. There in one stroke. 
they didn't produce the aircraft that aircraft, but they couldn't, you know. And the amount of money they have to spend on te uh, determining why, what happened, what's happened, you know, and everything. And I'm uh, basically been in, had to redesign the old aircraft. That's all it was, was uh, the fuselage was made out of too thin a uh, skin. And he had, and he had square windows. So on the corner of the square window, fatigue graphs and pressurization, constant pressurization cycles, when you're flying high up, up the, you know, 30, 40,000 feet. 30, 40,000 feet, yes. And uh, it was, it, it was suffering fatigues within few journeys, disaster. Bowen's going through it now. Well, you know, Airbus, well, you know, well, thank you for this, uh, this latest thing. No victims, but it could have easily been. But, uh, Airbus is the future. I, I'm not, I'm not telling you, uh, don't, ever, don't ever fly Bowen. But uh, myself, I'll try and I'll try and fly Airbus only. <coughs> Airbus aircraft. <coughs> oh well no no I would don't want to say things like that. Yeah all bones are safe. Most bones are safe. Very you know ninety nine percent of bones are safe. Ninety nine point nine. But in recent years I don't know what they'd be doing. Not properly testing, and I don't know, seems to be tested in boardroom decisions. In the park, or I'm going. It's a small business. Uh, what's happening in politics and I don't know. In this country, who cares? I'm, I've given up. <laughs> Apart from saying Fort Labour, whatever you do. <laughs> Oh, farmers, that's it. Flooding and farmers. Oh, my God. <clears throat> because of uh, river management has been done for years. The rivers of England are all flowing. Farmers, <clears throat> farmers lo have lost vast tracts of arable land. Food shortages come in as it is. <laughs> They're going to be even worse. It's been... Oh, the amount of rain in the last month is unbelievable. Ta-da. <laughs>